Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cargo Hub. And as you recall, in the last episode, we started out by making a bunch of different lines. And here's our current line st statistics. Use as a bit of such a huge word. Uh, just got to get that out there. Uh, currently, the L the Lafayette fuel delivery is about 150 thousand in the positive. Um, it just started dropping off all of that cargo, so that's awesome. Uh, the re refined fuel production. Everybody is just starting i'm hitting him fast forward right now but everybody's starting to drop off we're actually starting to make money um still a couple that i while you were away i did add a Glen, glendale fuel delivery so we can see oh actually it should be victorville fuel delivery should be what it is so it should be did I, uh, a Victorville fuel delivery. So for whatever reason, like last episode, I was like, oh, you know, the closest one's Lafayette. It's actually Victorville. So we got the Victorville fuel delivery going. So it just started. Uh, the passenger line is not doing the greatest, but Victorville refined fuel production. I think they're all getting ready to just drop off their first loads of cargo. And, you know, it just takes... It takes forever for them to get there. So I think they're going from all the way over here to all the way up here. And it's just taking a while. So once they start dropping off all their cargo, we're going to start be start to make money. That's basically what it is. So that's a look at the books right here in the Cargo Hub. So the next step in this massive empire of transportation that we're going to be working on is we got to keep making money so we're going to start by connecting up the farms over here to the food processing plant and then trucking that into glendale as well so we're going to start by doing that i don't think we have a truck station in glendale so let's go ahead and pop one of those in uh probably like right here yeah right there I'm just going to put it on both sides of the road. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do that. And I don't remember if I did that with both of these. So I'm actually going to, while I'm here, uh, pop that in like this. Where's my other one at? That way it allows the buses to kind of pick better routes through the city. So it may do that. Uh, anyway, so let's do over here to, we're going to start off with the Victorville farm and let's get a truck station in over here. So we got to spend money to make money, something like that. One there, we're going to put one in up here. And hopefully at some point, well, I think we'll still be using these truck stations. It'll just be, instead of them being um, connected directly to those things, they'll be connected to the cargo hub stations, the cargo hub train station. So then we need to get, I'm going to make a bypass road over to here. So let's get that in. Streets. We want this so we're gonna do start with small country roads Remember, we're trying to follow the terrain as best as possible here. Not get any exorbitant, exuberant costs. Also going around all the forests. Just going to be under through the country. It's fine. So that was 78,000, I think it was. That's about 20,000. Yeah, definitely save money by making the road shorter like that. Okay, so then we need to get a station in over here. And we're going to make it four platforms. 
Sure. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of dimp. It's because it's like down in this hole. What if I put it like right here? What about right here? There we go. Uh, she's in. All right, let's start by making our lines. So kind of change the naming convention a little bit. So we're going to do a new line from here to here. And that is going to be Victorville Grain Delivery Alpha. And we're going to do another new line, and we're going to go from here to here. Victorville Grain Delivery. Bravo. Then another new line from here to here, which will be Victorville Grain Delivery. Charlie. Excuse me. All right. So we got our lines in. And so what I'm going to do also is I'm just going to put a station in over here. Wrong button. Because I'm doing this because... There we go. I'm doing that because I don't want to truck have the trucks come from all the way over here to all the way over here. It's just too far of a run, and having only one depot like that just it just doesn't make sense right now. So let's go ahead and get some vehicles. So we have oh we need to make another another line which will be from here to here, right? Yes, that's a truck. It wouldn't let me do it if it wasn't. So this is going to be Glendale Food Delivery. All right. So now let's get our trucks in. So we got one, one, two, three, four lines. And so I'm going to go buy vehicles to get these. Yeah. Auto Savior, the real hero. That's going to be on Victorville Deli Grain Delivery Alpha. Bravo. Charlie. Six. And that's going to be food delivery. All right. So they're off and running. Uh, so that'll be nice. We will get the food delivery started. Let's come up here to our station and change a little bit here. So terminals... We're going to put the food deliveries terminal one, put this terminal four, and that's on terminal three. Okay, so yeah, we got them all on different terminals here, so nice. Very nice. <laughs> Look at that.
Wait, did I pick... Oh, dear. Let's take a screenshot. Um, I think I messed up. I did. That's a big whoops. They probably go almost as fast. That's going 11. What's this going? 16. Or almost as fast. Sorry, just put those horses down in the middle of the road. All right, well, we're on our way to Victorville. Ah, we're going to the places with the stuff. Did I do four? No, I did six. Two of them are just slow. There they are. Utilizing the roads that are already there, for sure. I mean, we already have green waiting, so that's nice. It's going to be a short jaunt over to there. These are going to be longer drives, though. All right, so we got that going, and then we could also do the Victorville oil line, so we could do that one as well. And I mean, we're basically just spending money at this point to... Oh, we got to put in... Can't do a new line yet, because we got to put in a cargo stop up here. there all right so let's do another new line let's go from there uh to there and get rid of that guy so this will be what were we calling those Victorville refined oil production delta. All right, let's grab here vehicles. That one this time, six of those. Victorville Refined Oil Production Delta. All right. So we're going to get that oil hooked up. We've got that one. Uh, what else we got milling about up here? So we do have... That's a... It's really quite far. Do that guy and that guy. Where would we take that? That goes to... All the way over here. So that's a no-go on that. I suppose I could start by doing the... from If I did from here to here, and then that could I could run that. That would be a long drive all the way up to there. That's almost train worthy. So let's look around the map a little bit here and figure out kind of where we want to. We have to start making money before we can start throwing in a cargo hub. You know what I mean? So. It's a pretty decent sized map. Trying to see if there's anything else we can be doing. That's not terrible. 
Where could I take that grain would have to come over to here. So if we did thinking in my head, if we put a train station here north of Corona, we could truck do the trucks from here and here. We could truck the grain to here and then we could transport that grain over to in here. But can we get some... That wood is not that close. You know, I could do this wood from here to here to here to here. Kind of just laying out a plan right now. Oh, here's some co uh, con mat. We could do con mat over here in Toledo. Or we can work on doing like it. Ooh, I've got a kind of an idea here just running around in my head. So why don't we start with kind of... I'm going to start with the train line from Corona to Oceanside. It's going to be the pa start of our passenger service. So we have 4.2 million, plus I could probably take more out in a loan. Um, let's check to see where everything is. So I could theoretically delete these two, this road right here. So that's what we're going to do is... Um... So we're going to put in, we're actually, I'm going to send that. <laughs> I'm going to send it. Uh, okay. Buildings. We're going to build in a passenger station. And it's only going to be, I'm going with 120 because it doesn't have to be huge. How big is the 80? Let's go 120. To actually, let's go 80 to start start and let's pause because the AI will just oh I can build a road here let's build this road all right right there and then let's build our next station over here in Corona and we are going to now if I build it right here. Right there. So then I need to get some streets. What if I put it up to here? One building will be removed. Okay, so what's our catchment on that? That's pretty decent. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we're going to remove that guy. And then what we'll do is run it out this way to Oceanside. So let's start by running our line for this. get a good view here and then eventually these will become cargo and passenger stations now we want this get a good run out to start off with because we're going to need two tracks anyway we may i mean we'll probably come back in and then fix all this at a later date. Like make it prettier, more pretty, pretty s. OK. 
Okay. I'm okay with there being level crossings. Okay, so which way we need to go? That way. So that way. Build short, try to keep our costs down. Because I always think, I'm like, what do normal towns look like, at, you know, in, in the world? And they do have these train tracks through them like this, you know. So it's not out of the ordinary to see train tracks through multiple places in your city. And then also running them as the crow flies is also a thing. So we can actually swing just a little bit left here to get around the lumber place. The forest? I don't know what they call them. So we're getting out here past the, the lumbery area. 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 I don't want it to snap, I don't think. So let's snap it right there. I think we should, okay, yeah, let's cross the road right here. Let's do a, bring it to here. And what if I just send that? Let's just send that. Okay. Also look at how nice it looks, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, looking good. See how, like, when I build it out like this, it starts cutting in. So if I keep the run short, it doesn't start cutting into the ground as much. And we get less of a, um, less cost. I am going to do that. All right. Passenger run from Corona over to Oceanside, and then we can expand that maybe to Elk Grove and Toledo after. So let's uh, unpause. So we need a depot for this, and eventually to come will be a main depot for all of all of the lines. So once we get them all connected, there'll be a main depot that comes out. Because there's only going to be one track on here right now. Um... Yeah, so there'll be one main depot eventually for the entirety of the main line cargo, main cargo line. Um, so, oh, we need to build a line first. New line. Corona to Oceanside. So...
picking up a good name. Corona to Oceanside Passenger Inter Intercity Intercity. All right, we got that. Um, I think we will also put some trucks or some buses in here to make just an intracity line. So let's see what we got for. Let's see what we got for steam locos. I don't. We don't have diesel, so let's see. The Baldwin six wheel. We can go with the General, which is twenty eight miles per hour. We got the Baldwin 56. That's a million dollars. What is this one? 476 or the 256? I think we're going to go with, let's see if we add that one and then we do. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they'll get 42 people on this right now, but. I mean that's 407 so that's less than the cost of the other with the cleansatory Ooh better ventilation and comfort I think we're going with that though I'm going to go with 2 and we're going to make it 28 capacity cuz it's not going to run very fast anyway I mean we're talking 25 miles an hour. So we can always switch the locomotive. All right. There it comes. Oh, she's a smoky beast. It's a good looking train. Hey, that's our first train. It's already looking dirty. That's not a terrible level crossing right there. Auto save. Coming into the station. Nobody's waiting for the train. Well, hopefully it starts making us money. People, anybody waiting over here? Oh, we got one passenger. That actually almost encompasses the entire town. So, let's quickly build in some passenger. Uh, we want to... Uh, that one. New line from here to here to here. And this will be Oceanside Passenger Intra City. 
And let's go ahead and put in a road depot over here. Because I think eventually we're going to need that anyway. So we might as well just throw that in. Let's buy some vehicles. And we're going to do the Mac. And we're going to do two. There we go. And then over here at Corona, same deal. One. Now, if I put one up here and then one right here, I think it looks good. Oh, we need to put one right here. Now, new line, from here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Or we could go... We could go here, to here, to here, to here, to here. And maybe connect this road up. Mm, yes. Corona passenger intra city. I may have those wrong where it's actually like inner intercity is inside the city and intra city is between the cities. I don't know. We're just going with it. It's the naming convention now. Even if it's wrong. <laughs> All right, that we're going to do, what do we do on the other one? Oh, let's, what, did, what did we do? We did, that was Osun side, we did two. All right, so let's go with two. Buy vehicles, that, two, buy, on that. All right, and we want to connect up that road. Does that make a difference on that line then? Manage the line. What if we got rid of spruce and we do add station and we add that in? Nope, because it puts it there. Add station. It doesn't matter. Church to Spruce is a turnaround. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Maybe I put the wrong road in. Oh, that's City Street. And look, the AI's already built. So, awesome. All right, well, let's check our lines and see what's going on. So no passengers yet on that guy. He has not made it to Oceanside yet. Um, everything's in the negative right now, but you can see that they do have fuel and whatnot on them. So they're going to hit the positive at any time. And it's really just going to be, at this point, a grind to make any money right now. So you can see, oh, we got... 18 passengers total on those. So they're starting to make money between Albuquerque, Victorville, and Glendale. Uh, not making any money right there. The bread delivery. Did we do a bread delivery? We did grain delivery. Food delivery has not done anything yet. So it probably went to there and then is going to Glendale and it's got to come back. So, hey, let's... uh. Let's go over and view this guy and see what it looks like right now. Yeah, so we got 24 food waiting for Glendale. So that's good. And hey, when those trucks get back from Glendale, it looks like they're on their way back. 
we're going to start we'll pick up the money or pick up the pick up the food and start making money and so hopefully very soon you know i'm not going to be super broke and we can start working on more trains and whatnots so oh my goodness look at this going up We just picked up how many people here? Like 20, 23. Very nice. So we are starting to make money. One passenger here, three passengers here. So we are, I th may make money on this. Let's look at this guy. Let's check the other one real fast. And then we're going to get out of here for the day. We have 23 passengers waiting over here. So amazing, awesome. That's going to do it for this episode of the Cargo Hub. Uh, we got uh, our first train line in, and Corona is going to start growing. And you can see that there's already passengers at, at all the stops. So, again, if you enjoy all this content, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that stuff if you so desire. You know, throw, throw a like on there, whatever. Uh, appreciate you hanging out, as always. And until next time here in the Cargo Hub, take care. <laughs>